I am a physician scientist trained in hepatology, and my research focuses on liver fibrosis, which is scarring of the liver. And so regardless of the type of liver disease you can develop, whether it's from um, viral hepatitis, alcoholic liver disease, or non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH, um, it results in fibrosis. When I was a postdoc at Massachusetts General Hospital, we discovered a novel antifibrotic target called acid ceramides. And we found that if you inhibit this enzyme um, using in human hepatic stellate cells or in mouse models that, you know, we, we saw a significant reduction in fibrosis. And so that motivated us to develop our own novel inhibitors of acid ceramides, which is what I'm currently working on. At UCSF, I was really fortunate to partner with this medicinal chemist named Bill DeGrotto, and we aim to develop a, new, a novel inhibitor of acid ceramides because currently available, um, tool compounds lack potency and metabolic stability. Um, and so with the support of UCSF and with the Harrington Discovery Institute, um, we are currently at the stage where we've identified a lead series. Um, we've sh demonstrated proof of concept using human hepatic stellate cells, um, several other assays, as well as two different mouse models of fibrosis. And we are now looking to perform additional lead series optimization um, so that the drug, so that the goal is that the drug can become orally bioavailable. You know, I've been so fortunate to be a Harrington Scholar. I think I've learned so much about drug development um, and the ad advisors that um, are on our team, Scott Woodward, George Trainer, and our project manager, Sneha Natarajan, um, have really provided invaluable advice as to how to move our project forward. And I think without them, you know, our project would definitely have been significantly delayed. My end goal, which is why I went into medicine and why I kind of went down this physician scientist path is to develop a therapy that, that can actually help my patients with chronic liver disease. We know that non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH, affects over 16 million Americans and that number continues to rise. Um, so we're really excited to develop a therapy that can help um, patients with chronic liver disease.